Hey guys, this is a new series I'm starting where I read the WWE Dictionary and tell you more about the uh, people and the dictionary. Uh, this is going to be a very long series as there's tons of people in this book. And this is the first one. And it's three minute warning. So here we go. In July 2002, Rosie and Jamal made their debut when they jumped the crowd barrier to decimate D'Lo Brown and Sean Stasekia. The attack opened many eyes and also cured Bishop's boredom from watching Brown and Staskis compete in the months that followed. Bishop continued to entertain himself by giving superstars a warning of three minutes before Rosie and Jamal would put a painful end to the segment the general, man the general manager deemed dual. The most memorable moment of Three Minute Warning's brief WWE career saw them invade SmackDown and crash Billy and Chuck's highly publicized commitment ceremony. Shortly after the invasion, Rosie and Jamal competed in a high-profile tables elimination match at Survivor Series. With Rico as their partner, they fell victim to Jeff Hardy, Bubba Ray, and Spike Dudley. The duo never bounced back from the loss, and they went their separate ways at shortly after. Three Minute Warning was made of Rosie and Jamal with a combined weight of 939 pounds, and they were active in the 2000 to present day. Here is the first member of Three Minute Warning, Rosie. This former superstar began his WWE career along with his brother Jamal as a hired gun when Eric Bischoff was a part of Three Minute Warning. After their act was given the axe, his natural abilities in the ring caught the eye of the WWE resident superhero, and soon the Samoan superstars began a super type of of training. In the summer of 2004, Rosie was a changed man. He had a new outlook on life, new ring attire, and a new purpose. Together with the Hurricane, they were the superheroes the world needed. At Backlash 2005, their combined strength pushed them past Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch to become World Tag Team Champions. After Cade and Murdoch won the titles back, the team entered ter a terrible losing streak and ultimately fell apart. Rosie departed from World Wrestling Entertainment soon after in March of 2006. This is Jamal, or also known as Umaga. The Samoan Bulldozer Yamaga is a giant who combines savagery, raw power, and incredible speed. His earliest appearances in WWE were overseen by Armando Alejandro Estrada, who would later become general manager of ECW. After his debut in 2006, Yamaga immediately set his sights on the best in the business, Nature Boy Ric Flair. Yamaga then went weeks without being pinned and became the number one contender for John Cena's WWE Championship. On February 19th, 2007, Yamaga was named the representative Mr. McMahon for the Battle of the Billionaires match at WrestleMania 23. That same night, he crushed Jeff Hardy to become the Intercontinental Champion of Backlash. Yamaga teamed with Mr. McMahon again when the duo defeated the team of Bobby Lashley and Shane McMahon. The WWE Chairman became the new ECW Champion, and no one is quite sure what drives Yamaga to act as he does. Quite often, his opponents are too dazed from their encounters with him to give it much thought. His signature move is a Simone Spike, and you can see a picture of him doing it. Again, this is the first one of hopefully many to come in this series. And again, the first tune we're talking about is Three Minute Warning, made of Rosie and Jamal, 939 combined pounds, and they won the uh, World Tag Team titles. Thank you very much.